Hi, this is Alfonso Parodi with Team Parodi at Realty Associates. And today we are with Walter Drone, Highland representative, and he's going to show us the framing stage of his 542 model. Walter, how are you? Doing great. Thanks for coming out. Absolutely. Show us around. I would love to. This is a 542 plan. It's, uh, it's been out for about four or five years, and it's been a phenomenal seller for us. You'll notice, even in the entry, how tall your ceilings are. One story, right? One story house. One story wow. house. How, Very... <laughs> how high is this? That is 11 feet in the entry and then coffered up to 12. Wow. So it's wow. a very nice entry coming into the arches. It's hard to see that in the frame, but that'll be a big, nice arch coming in here. Gorgeous entry. In this particular plan, this plan specific, there's an eight foot front door standard. Wow. Right, and a lot, of, a lot of your other I'm, openings are eight feet. I'm 5'10". So, nice that. They, uh, in this particular plan, I believe they have done my Yao Ming option, and that's where we made all the interior doors eight foot high and then put six inch baseboards. So, so, one of the nice things about Highland is you were able to customize. So, it's kind of like a custom builder where uh, they will work with you. Uh, when you work with a Highland home representative like Walter, you're actually working with the owner because. Well, tell us about Well, it. We, we became an ESOP two years ago. I, I joined Highland over 12 years ago and I knew I was joining for the right reasons. Two years ago when they said, you know what, we're gonna basically give the company to the employees, we're gonna become employee owners. It gave me a retirement I didn't know I had, right? Nice. It's gonna be a really nice extra retirement. Rod Sanders, who's Gene Ann's brother, very concerned about the employees, the people who's helped him build the company. We're gonna do $1.3 billion in business with a B this year, over 3,100 homes. Right. Well, that's a big why. And you, when you purchase a Highland home, what I find out working with other builders by personal experience, um, it's a it's a home buying experience. It's not just you buying a house. It's it's a whole experience. Tell us more about the insulation and the framing. Well, we we have uh, very good insulation. They use a HERS uh, standard to rate each house, and we have very low HERS scores. Lower the better. The lower, very the low, better, that's right. The lower, low horror scores gives us very energy efficient homes. What is the but, average score? I don't, I don't know the average to be honest. I, I see some in the 60s and low 70s. Right. But very, very energy efficient. I mean, people are and, always. And what is the uh, the benchmark for like the minimum? Uh, 100. 100. Wow. 100. Wow. 100 is the standard, and everything wow. there is, so, is going better well, and better of it. What Walter is saying is pretty much there are 30 to 40 percent uh, above the standard when it comes to efficiency and um, the new windows are more efficient. And you mentioned before uh, that the um, AC system have a... We dehumidifier. In addition to train, which is a 16 series system, we have dehumidifiers to take the humidity out because we want to be able to cool your house in the summer and get it nice and cool. But we also want to be able to get the moisture out in the wintertime. If you have a real big AC, it doesn't run enough in the winter time to get the moisture out, so therefore you really need the dehumidifier. And that's all automatic. Do you have to play around or just that? No. Just, just, just set it. You can actually control. Nike, just do it. You can actually set your humidity control. You have humidity control really? on your thermostat. We've had that for a while, where you set your your humidity. Before the dehumidifier, they always used to say, "Don't try it below 55." That's about as good as you can ever do in Houston. With the dehumidifier, you can actually beat that. Wow! So it's a, it's a wow. fantastic wow. system, very healthy. Insulation in the attic. We've been R38 for about 20 years. R38. Back when back when everybody else was R19, we doubled up. Energy doubled Star up. still only requires R30, and we're we're still at R38. It's over 25 percent better wow. than what Energy Star requires. So the code is 30. I don't know if it's code, but it's an energy star. It's a rating system. Yes, I'm, and, I'm and familiar with it. And they typically require R30. They want R30. you to hit certain standards or right, different ways of right, accomplishing right. it. But. Well, at Team Padoli, we do new homes that we do also resale, and that's right. They usually, inspectors require R30. Um, it's you, a standard for Highland Homes, 38. That's amazing. Yeah. You mentioned custom changes. This is a little something we did for this particular buyer. Um, they had. A statue that they wanted to put right here. So we created an art niche. We also they wanted to set up the arch. They pay attention to the detail. So need the <laughs> arch there. This was a second pantry that we put in this house. So we have two pantries, and then with the pantry, we put in the uh, the place to put the statue that they're they're going to like. And then right behind us, you'll notice again the windows. This would be the formal dining room when it's complete. Again, most builders are going to have one smaller window. Here we have two windows, and they're bigger than anybody else's. 
when you get into the family room that we're about to go to, you're going to get blown away by the number of windows and the size of the windows. I'm already and the amount of natural away. light that's coming in this house. Just the way it is. Because there's obviously no electricity. We're just at frame stage. Well, and it's very bright. There's usually there. four stages. Today we're looking uh, kind of like mix of the stage number three because I see the wiring is already in place. The first stage will be pouring concrete. Is that correct? That's correct. The second stage will be framing. Um, and then between framing and drywall, it, co um, it comes the all the electrical part, right? right? And Highland Homes usually can work with the clients if they have any custom needs. Oh, when absolutely. It comes, when it comes to uh, the wiring part. Uh, right. But once you put drywall, it's kind of no, no coming back. Yeah, it gets, it gets harder <laughs> to do it. That means we don't do it sometimes, but it gets harder to do it. But this goes into the kitchen. Now this particular house, and this, again, it frames it's a little hard to see it. But this is the big island. It's got a very curved island, very large kitchen. We have more cabinets along that wall, cabinets that wrap around a U-shape with a big, large dining area. This, I've always called the command center. Because you're sitting here at the island, your, your oven's behind you, your sink's here, and you're looking out at you're everything in front of You're in control of the party. So you're in command here. And then if you look at how big this house is with all the windows and everything. Our, we've got this as one of our models up front, Alfonso, and we have little parties where we have 60, 70 people. This house is smaller than my other model, but we right. maintain it in this particular house because this area, the place where you spend your time, is so large and so nice. It looks like it has 12 foot ceilings. It does. It does. And I have sold this home to a lot of buyers moving out of a five and six thousand square foot house. This one's about 2,800 at one story. It's, has big, the it's option. a big one story. It is, it has also the option to be one and a half. So we could okay. actually take this up to about 3,400 square foot with a game room or media room upstairs, right. a full bath and another bedroom, so. So this one has four bedrooms? Four bedrooms and a study, and a big standard. dining room, all standard. Right, now let's point out here that always got to have the option to have a gas or electrical oven, right? Rich? Correct. That's correct. You have you That's can run either one. So. No, the windows are standard. These windows are standard. They can be fixed like these are done, or they can be operable. Most people, because these windows and they're wanting to uh, get the view, go with a fixed. This particular lot is is on the side with a reserve next to it, so they want to take advantage of the view and be able to basically grow their backyard and grow their view. They're looking out over at the lake are across these, there. Are, are these eight foot windows? Uh, they are, I think, seven actually is what is the height of them. there, yeah. Yeah, I think they're about seven feet. I'm not 100% on that. Oh, I'm, yeah. But, but they're, they're, they're huge. They're huge. They're this, huge. this house, I think, does a lot. And when we get over this corner, you'll be able to really see it. It does a lot to show what Jean Ann has always believed in, in the large windows. And we've been so famous for the big windows. Because if you look at that, that's basically four walls of windows in here for your family room. Look at all that, you also want to have Lake U. That's beautiful. And when you follow that walking trail, they put a lot of extra walking trails and they didn't even tell us they were going to do it. There's a rock wall over there, there's a fishing pier, and now they're putting in more playground equipment for the Tell us about the attic, the barrier. That's a radiant barrier and it just reduces your attic temperature by 30 to 40 degrees. Wow. And again, we're going to have R38 separating the attic from the Double family. That. But the, the attic itself is actually going to be cooler for it. And if you see the baffles going down, what those are going out to is a perforated soffit, and it lets the air come in. And then you can see these up here, those are air hawks. So what it does is it creates a natural pull because the hot air rises. Right. So as the hot air rises and goes out to your air hawks, those baffles ensure that the air can come through the perforated soffits and make it up there so it continually cools the air in the attic without any moving parts. Here's when you see all the engineering of building a house and how they master plan each model uh, to be as most efficient possible um, and that's a framing stage. I'm glad that we are here uh, today at Facebook and you guys are following us uh, in this video uh, to show you uh, how it's all this built. One of the other things that I wanted to point out, if you see the little orange stuff oozing out behind the windows and the frames and everything, that's a foam ceiling. These houses are very, very airtight. Um, you really want about 0.33 when you do uh, an airtight. Our houses have gotten so tight because of all the foam ceiling, because of the wraps, everything that we right. use, that we actually have a fresh air intake that brings the air into the inside. Because wow. if you didn't change out your air often enough, you need about three air changes per hour to be a healthy house. 
And if you don't change that out, you're dry cleaning, you're cooking, all those smells and odors right. would create an unhealthy house. Right. So you have to bring in fresh air to keep it healthy. But we're gonna filter that air before it comes into your house. So and you're that's gonna something, have- that's standard? Standard on every wow. house. That same four inch media filter, they tell you I only have to change it twice a year. I say for 26 bucks, I'm gonna change it every quarter. I'm gonna have a healthier, safer house. It's, it actually has less dust in your house because the dust is filtered out right. before it ever gets to your furniture. Well, I'm happy you that everybody that's following us in this video are learning how different is Highland Homes between any other builder and also learn what questions to ask when you are inspecting a home in a framing stage uh, and hopefully it will be a Highland Home. So it also, if you're thinking about home buying or selling, visit teamparodi.com. Let's check it out. This is the master bedroom. This is the master. And it also has a five foot extension on it, which is a fabulous place to sit. And again, more windows. Look at these ceilings, it's beautiful. People love this. They can, a bedroom like this is great to go in and relax and unwind and you wake up and feel refreshed. So fantastic. Again, even the foam ceilings you see at the bottom on your baseboards. Right. We use the CV PVC uh, pipe in here, and that's a traditional branch and T plumbing that they've used for over a hundred years. Uh, you don't have leaks, you don't have problems. It's just the right way to do plumbing. We're not trying to do it cheaper. We're trying to do it right. Right. Tell us about what are these. Those are going to be those are going to be ties that's going into a header over your window. The um, storm. Uh, at that point, I think that's just tying in for the header. We see the little, these are hurricane clips that you see up here at top. Which ones are those? The, the, these up here. And that's tying your studs to your top plate. All right. I don't see that. Okay. The, see the metal ones yeah, up there? Yeah, no, no, I see that. I'm right. saying that. It's very important to point out that because we do have sometimes hurricanes. Not too much in Houston, but it, it could happen. It could. And something else that I'm seeing that a lot of people ask me questions about. See these finger jointed studs? These are fantastic in the wall. They're about the same price, one way or the other, as, as a, a solid More stud. More flexibility? Well, what they do is they don't bow. Because if you notice the grains, they change as they put these together. Right. Environmentalists love them because you waste less. If you go to break this board, it's going to break here, not at the joint. The joint's actually stronger than the board. And in a compressed format, they're actually as strong or stronger than any other 2x4. But what happens is, if you've walked into a house and you see walls that bow, they right. come out. They didn't use finger jointed studs. They used a, with a continuous grain. And with our tall ceilings, and you use a continuous grain, you're going to have a lot of bows. Right. So we go to this, and so you don't get bowed walls. You don't have well, to I'm cut sure the sheetrock and repair. The heat makes it expand too, kind of like the rails of a train. Well, actually, it's drying out that causes the problem. The heat dries it out and dries it out. And as it dries out, because it, it, it continues to dry out probably for about two years, right. it tends to then warp. And when it warps, is when you get the bowed walls. But when you have the grains and a finger jointed stud, you don't get the bowed wall. Is that standard? That's standard. It's wow. the right it's the right piece of wood for this application. Now you wouldn't want to use it in a different format, but right. in a compressed format, this is a better board to use for this application. And that's why we have straighter walls and less bows. Wow. Little details. Little details makes a big difference. And it's important, it's important to come and see your house when you're building a house from scratch in the four stages. One will be pouring, the second stage will be on framing. Um, if you're looking at Harper Preserve, Walter is the best person here in the area with Highland Homes. They will walk you through, as you can tell, he's very knowledgeable. And these little details is what makes the difference between Highland Homes and any other builder uh, period in Houston and surrounding areas. We have very good construction managers too that actually know how to build a house. They're not just schedulers. And they'll walk with you too. A lot of times a buyer may have a question that I don't know the answer to, but that's how I learn. And I'll call up one of my builders or my project manager and I'll get them to walk us through the house. And they're happy to do it even with a prospective customer just so they can tell us about the house. They're very proud of what we're doing here and they love to actually show it off and tell you about it. So this is the master bathroom? Yes. Yes, you, again, you've got the big walk-in shower. This is a large window that opens to the shower. This is that, I mean, remember I mentioned to you about where we put the handle? Right. The shower head's on the back wall. Your handle's so the over handle here. The handle's going to be very accessible. Right. This is how they build in the house. So guess what? You don't get wet. It's a small thing, but you don't get wet and cold as you, right. you turn it on the water. Right. And it's just a nice thing. A little more plumbing, but not a big deal if you want to do a better job. We're not trying to build the cheapest house, we're trying to build a better house. 
we're building a Highland house and it's a whole different world. It's a Highland experience when you purchase a Highland home. And we want to thank you today for tuning in at, at this home with Walter. So if you're thinking about home buying or home selling, visit teamparodi.com. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook. And if you're looking for a home anywhere in Houston and especially a brand new home in Harpers Preserve, ask for Walter. Walter, thank, thank you, Alfonso. Thank you for being here with us. See you soon. Thank you.